Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Pajama Joe here for another fragrance review. This is going to be my last fragrance review of the day. Um, so I thought I'd make it a, a particular, particularly exceptional review. Um, the fragrance house I'm going to be de talking about today is Bodicea the Victorious. And the fragrance's name is Ardent. And this is the box. It's got a nice little jet black matte black uh, box. This is the logo and the name. I own the 50 milliliter or 1.7 fluid ounce. On the back side you have um, the ingredients, the name, and information. Um, the box is magnetic. It is closed by a magnet. When you open up the box you have this nice black uh, pillow that the fragrance sits on. Very nice presentation with this. When I had first discovered this house, uh, we went to a um, a high-end store, and we weren't really looking for anything in particular. We were just seeing what they had carried, and what they had, and then when we come across this house, we started smelling them. And they carried some very nice, very nice fragrances. Um, this fragrance is of a separate uh, line of what um, the Valiant is in. Uh, it's a separate line. So the Valiant is of its own category, separated from the line that this, is, that this fragrance is a part of. Um, when, the, when, the, um, when the vendor at the store had me smell this, I said immediately, I said, I have to, I have to get this. This is so rich and so nice. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. It's got a nice little silver plate on the front here with the logo and the name. Um, the back side has got this really nice little design on it right there as well as the same on the top of the lid and the lid is very very well um, sealing the atomizer it seals the atomizer very well it's a very very well sealed bottle this fragrance came out in 2012 and the perfumer's name is Christian Provenzano whose name seems to be popping up a lot in a lot of fragrances that are being created um, this is classified as an amber woody and the top notes are coriander, carrot seeds, saffron, and Turkish rose. The heart notes are rose absolute, hedione, and beeswax. The base note is benzoin, vanilla, cystus, labdanum, agarwood, patchouli, musk, and amber. Now I will tell you what to expect when you wear this, what notes to expect this to smell like, as well as what notes are not so prominent that you might want to look at some other fragrances for specific those other specific notes that are listed in this and what you would get out of this mainly is a very um, dark amberish honey rose um, it's not classified as a gourmand it's classified as an amber woody so um, it's almost a gourmand like the sweetness from the honey blended together with the with the the richness of the rose in this is so well done that it's definitely something that I would say go easy when you apply this because you can spray one to two sprays of this and it will last you the whole day uh, or at least a, a good amount of the day um, eight hours after eight hours of two sprays in separate areas on your body it will last you uh, about eight hours of projecting about two and a half about two and a half feet away from you um, this does last a real long time and it is very very rich but um, if you consider how this smells as accordance to the richness that you might get from, say, eating cheesecake, if you have too much of it, you'll just totally 
just won't feel right. It when you eat too much cheesecake because of how rich it is, it just it's not a good feeling as if you have just like a little bit to enjoy it. <laughs> That's kind of what uh, the similarities between those two are and this between that and what this is. Too much of this will be overdone and your enjoyment level will just be totally obscured. But to enjoy this fragrance is to go easy with this fragrance. And the easier you go with this, the 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 more prominent the enjoyment is of this. Um the notes of agarwood, even um, even patchouli and musk. You might want to look at some other different fragrances that uh, that you might detect upon smelling uh, of those other fragrances than this one, because those notes aren't very prominent. Even after the dry down and the the base comes through, you really don't get a whole lot of uh, woody patchouli musk on the, of this now everybody's skin chemistry is different when they wear fragrances so you might even you might get that uh when this turns into the base but as far as my standings and what uh, i expect this to do when i wear this i don't get much woody patchouli musk but what i do get is a very nice rich strong long-lasting type um, um, sweet richness of this and this is best to be enjoyed when spraying sparingly <laughs> you you might be able to get away with spraying one with this one time as rich as this is but you will definitely drown out your um, senses if you go more than three sprays of this maybe even two uh as far as as far as my experience with this but this is a very very good fragrance sorry about that well that is my take on ardent of bodicea the victorious um, I'll try to get in a couple more reviews at a at another time. Um, as far as uh, I would say about this fragrance in particular is um, be very careful with this. But as you apply this one, you can kind of come up with your own way of determining how much to use of this um, and uh, what will be the maximum maximum enjoyment factor that you get when you when you experience this this these these fragrances of this house uh, that's all the time i'm going to be talking about fragrances today but um, i hope you enjoyed my video uh, of ardent by bodice the victorious Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, everybody.